food reviews with Fatty. Uh, in this review, I'm going to actually have a special guest here um, that's going to be a new guest on our show. Um, he is actually going to be standing in for quite some time, uh, or at least until I get annoyed by him. Um, so I'd like to introduce my friend. Um, this is a Mr. Mr. Uh, well, I'll just say it flat out. It's Mr. Predicto. Uh, Mr. Predicto is this uh, ball right here. And Mr. Predicto also makes his review known as well. Mr. Predicto, does this thing work really well? Can you really tell me what's going to really happen in this video? Or better yet, let me ask you a better question. Mr. Predicto, is this food re review channel awesome or not? Hey, Mr. Oh, Mr. Predicto, how would you shoot me in the foot? That is a likely outcome. <laughs> he shot me in the foot, see? Definitely, yes. Apparently, Dr. <laughs> Predicto don't like me very much. <laughs> he said the show sucked, and he's going to kick me. <laughs> I can't win here, buddy. So anyhow, in this new review, uh, we're going to be doing the Banquet Mega Crustless Pepperoni Pizza. Uh, it touts, it's the new limited time, I doubt it's limited time, it's probably just a new item. Um, so it has 25 grams of protein in this, 520 calories, um, 19 grams of saturated fat, and uh, basically it's just a crustless pizza made by Banquet. As you can see there, uh, so that's what that is. Um, this is basically a microwave meal. They sell it at Walmart, any place you can get these. Um, it does stay no mess, no crust, and meaty toppings. Uh, so this has actually, it looks like um, cheese sauce, uh, tomatoes, pepperoni cubes, and pepperoni slices. Um, so this is something that only takes about five minutes to cook. Uh, banquet, I can't say that they're not notorious for being terrible, but I've had some that were pretty good from Banquet, believe it or not. Um, it's just kind of scary because you don't know where the meat comes from, and that happens a lot of times with these kind of things. So that's kind of one of those things that does come to mind. Uh, but it's made in the USA and uh, since 1953. That's what it's proudly sponsors on the back of the box there. So... Um, Needless to say, you can cook this in the microwave or the conventional oven. Um, and this is a brand of Con Conagra Foods, or Conagra Brands Incorporated, out of Chicago, Illinois. So, that kind of covers the basis of what we got here. Um, I went ahead and pre-prepared it, so that way I could show everybody what, lo what it looks like. Um, if you can see there, it's just basically an amalgamation of sauce, cheese, and different kinds of pepperoni. Uh, mozzarella cheese um, so yeah like I said this company is really notorious for selling things that after you microwave it it tastes really bad or things get rough inside the mixture um, they have these lasagna style meals like this and a lot of times around the edges it gets real crumbly and crusty um, this one here I kinda cooked a little less so it didn't get so crumbly uh, you know the crusty feeling or whatever you could say um, so I did cook this a little less time just because I thought it would be like that now the first thing I notice is that there's actually this like real like soupiness here in the corner which kind of makes me wonder uh, why there's so much soupiness to tell you the truth um, that's the first thing I'm gonna point out right now uh, before I even make a review of this and then I'm gonna let Mr. Predicto speak as well. Uh, I just feel like that he has his great wizard opinion, and I feel like he's needs to be heard as well. So, Mr. Predicto, I'm going to come back to you here in a minute after I taste test this taste. Uh, let's see here. I have to be honest, it doesn't look really appealing. It's like I took 
some uh, sauce cheese and pepperoni and just threw it in a bowl and threw it in the microwave. I think possibly that'd probably be a little better because it just, like I said, this general soupiness everywhere. It's as if the mozzarella cheese was not a good enough cheese that it would just melt like cheese and it just melted like water. I don't like that. That, that already makes me leery. Um, I chose to do this because it was new. And like I said, I'm always going to be doing honest reviews about things that you don't see in everyday life. Uh, simply because I feel that that actually is the way to know whether something's good or not. I really want to put out a, an honest review of everything that I do. Um, in this case, I didn't have to deal with customer service whatsoever. I just went to Walmart and bought one uh, while I was out shopping. So, um, more or less, like I said, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, just to get an idea of what it looks like on the fork, there you go. As you can see, it's kind of, it just looks a little like, uh, what the heck? What the heck? What the, what the, what the? So, um, as much as I hate to do it, I really don't know if I am going to like this exactly. I don't think I'm really sure yet. But, there's only one way to find out, right? So, uh, let's get back to it. Let's see here. Okay. Mm. So the first thing I notice is this does have kind of like a, it just tastes like stuff thrown in the bowl. Um, this is their way of not having to give you crust. Um, I don't know if they consider this a marketing gimmick or if this is actually going to stay around because I feel like it's kind of marketing at its best. It's like if we can just slop some stuff in a bowl and give it to somebody and sell it to them, uh, then we will. And that's really what it feels like. And looking at a lot of the stuff that's in this, it doesn't seem like, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this, mm -hmm. a lot of ingredients uh, considering that it's supposed to be this and that, you know. Um, it looks like the pepperoni is made with some things, but then I see a lot of things that have three letters. Usually anything that starts da -da, letter, 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 kind of similar to GMO. <laughs> Usually it's not good for you. So uh, there's the BHA, BHT, citric acid. Uh, beef, pork, salt, and some dextrose. Flavorings, that's where I don't like banquet right there. Flavorings, that's one single word by itself. They're not telling you what the flavorings are. So that's always, that's always been the thing that gets me about banquet. It creeps me out because I don't really want to eat like uh, certain portions of the cow that are less appealing. Um, snout. Tail, um, guts. Uh, I just, just being flat out honest, I, I apologize if this is a little graphic. Um, but I mean, you know, you do eat some of these things: the pig, the snout of the pig, pig's ears, brains. I just, I, I can't help but think, you know, no matter how good this might taste, that I could just be eating something I really don't want to eat, uh, disguised as whatever. Along with a lot of these, like, uh, things that just don't seem really right. Like, uh, <laughs> like I said, the BHA, BHT, the word flavorings by itself, an oleo resin of paprika, whatever an oleo resin is of paprika. I'm probably never going to review this again, so that's cool because I'm already feeling leery about all the stuff that's in it. I'm definitely going to taste it again because... Well, I told you in other videos before that you have to taste it at least twice in order to be able to feel like you really uh, have something there. So, without further ado, yeah, this is probably going to the trash. I, I'm not sure I really even want to give a thumbs anything because 
then I'm just helping out the machine to make the nastiest thing they can do. And they call themselves banquet, but if I brought this to a banquet, I think somebody would, and my family would like murder me. And they'd probably they'd probably kill me. They'd be like, "Why can't you bring real food? And why did you bring this microwave?" Not delight. Um, I'm gonna try it one more time just to. I mean, it tastes like pepperoni pizza. So I'll start off with that. It tastes like pepperoni pizza, like any other pepperoni pizza, uh, just without the crust. But all these weird little letters on the back, all that stuff, it just kind of makes me leery. The sodium content in this is 1,760 milligrams. That's how much salt they put in this. That is very unassuring right there. Uh, that alone... It uh, looks like there's 8 grams of sugars, which is quite a bit. Uh, I'm already feeling kind of nasty in the gullet, i got to be honest. I'm feeling kind of like, uh, that first bite is making me, I'm already getting indigestion. So, ah, I, bottoms up. Nope. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do 110 with this. This is not good. Um, the sauce tastes fine. The cheese tastes fine. The pepperoni has this off taste. It, like, it's not a real authentic, like, any kind of pepperoni. Um, either one. Either the diced or the... Uh, I'm sorry, the slices or the cubes. Uh, let's first start off with that I can see here that there are no pepperoni slices on this at all. And that makes you even more leery when there's things that are supposed to be in there and it's just not. I see, I see lots of uh, these cubed pepperonis, lots of tomato, lots of sauce, lots of cheese. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just globs of cheese on top of this crappy topping stuff. It doesn't really feel like... It feels like a pizza if you're, like, lowering your standards. This is like... How should I say? This is like... If you're... How should I explain? If you're living in a bad neighborhood and you're extremely poor... And I mean not poor like poor like broke but like you know you're just trying to get by uh, and you wanted a piece of pizza but you didn't have the money for a piece of pizza like from the local gas station or something 7-eleven then this would be something that you would go for uh however for them to be offering this i believe it was at like uh three dollars 2.99 so three dollars and 21 cents for this crustless butza I, I don't know. I, I like to call it butza because this is not pizza. This is disgusting. Uh, it tastes like butt. Sorry, guys. It tastes like butt. My opinion right now, and I'm calling it right now, my review of this right now, Banquet, is that it's thumbs down. I don't know why you would put this out, dude. Like, Banquet, you've always been kind of a shady company. Um, I never really felt comfortable eating a lot of the stuff that came from Banquet after a while. Uh, when I was a kid, I had no standards. Uh, so if you have no standards, this is where you go to. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is disgusting. Uh, the pepperoni don't taste very good. The sauce is mediocre. Um, the, the, the 500 chemical cheese, I mean, look at that. Well, I was going to show it to you, but apparently it decided it wanted to jump off. Uh, literally just committed cheese suicide off of this and I don't condone suicide in any way shape or form that's strictly a joke but yeah I mean this stuff is so bad it wants to kill itself I think and I, I do know that if anything we can call the suicide hotline for it um, also if you're ever thinking about doing something like that please understand that your family and friends are going to have a hard time and I, I fight with anxiety and depression myself uh, I'll be honest um 
I do. I deal with a lot of severe depression and severe anxiety at times. Um, especially anxiety, depression, it comes and goes. Anxiety is something that I live with daily. Um, so I'm stressed out a lot, even when I don't seem like it. Uh, because life is very stressful. Um, as a grown adult, and I'm adulting like crazy, it's stressful. So if you're feeling like that, maybe give the suicide hotline a call or just give a friend a call and tell them what's going on. Uh, me and my brother, we happened to do that. He was in a bad way today. He wasn't feeling too great. And I, you know, I talked to him off the ledge. That's what brothers are for. So, you know, uh, we all have our bad days. Um, things don't always go right and things don't always feel right. And if that's the case, please do call somebody that you know. Let them know how you're feeling and see if they can talk to you about it. Or give the suicide hotline a call. Um, they will help you. Uh, so just to let everybody know, I'm not just out here just telling people to go kill themselves or anything crazy like that. I just wanted to make that be known because I did say it committed cheese suicide. So it's strictly a joke, guys. It's cheese suicide. Bye-bye. Look at it. I don't even have to touch it. it just, I just flip it over and it rolls off the fork. So yeah, there we are. So I made my opinion be known. But... We still got to ask somebody else. So, you ready, Mr. Predicto? Let me pop you on here, buddy. Okay, here we go. Mr. Predicto, is this banquet crustless pepperoni pizza mill any good? Oh. The answer is unclear. Try again. Okay. Mr. Predicto, is this mega crustless pepperoni pizza made with chemicals? Without hesitation, yes. And is this banquet crustless pizza pepperoni meal, uh, meal, is it any good, do you think? What do you say, little buddy? I am confident it is no. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Predicto. I'm sorry, Mr. Predicto. I always mess up this name. Thank you very much, Mr. Predicto. Without a doubt, no. So Banquet, you might want to go back to the drawing board, buddy. You might want to come up with something a little less chemical-filled and something a little tastier. Um, and your reputation does precede you. Everywhere I go, I hear about people that don't want to eat this. Because, and it's not just this, but all your meals. Because you guys are not making real food anymore. It's just like you're cooking it in a lab. And well, much like KFC, we don't like lab chicken around here, buddy. So... That's where I'm at with this one. I think we're going to call it a day because it is a day. And I think this is the end of this review uh, because this is the most terrible thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. So with that being said, this is another Food Reviews with Fatty. My name's Jay. Uh, please do like and subscribe. Please do go buy merch from Food Reviews with Fatty and J Pump Music to support the channel. Uh, take a look at the Patreon if you want to donate to the channel as well. I am looking to figure out what kind of surprises we're going to have in store for our members that do sign up for that. Um, still working on that currently. Uh, and Mr. Predicto, he wanted to say bye as well. Um, so in this general case, we do have some other stuff that's going to be coming out soon. I'm going to be reviewing um, some butterscotch stuffed Oreos. Or I'm sorry, pumpkin spice stuffed Oreos. Uh, cream, pumpkin spice cream stuffed Oreos. I have another one I'm going to be doing, which is the Wonka Magic Hat Gummies that turn my mouth black, which sounds kind of rough in the general sense, because I don't want my tongue to fall off, thanks to Willy Wonka. Uh, but still, it's going to be interesting. I also have a Pringles Harvest Blend blended with multi-grains farmhouse cheddar chips that I plan on reviewing. 
And I've still got yet to do this one that I'm going to do, and it's going to be putting toxic waste in my mouth and seeing which one is the most sour, which one's the most sweet, whatever it may be, and then reviewing those individually. Uh, maybe like in a contest test format to see which one's better all around as well. So, with that being said, this, like I said, this is another food review with Fatty. And I am, of course, your host, Jay, a.k.a. Fatty. Well, thank you very much for all you lovely people coming to see my show. And everybody who stayed to the end, I love you. Thank you very much. So, with that being said, this is another food review with Fatty. And, Fatty out!